Hi, I'm Peter, and I'm here to introduce you to Looker. Looker is a cloud-native enterprise BI platform, enabling secure access to near real-time data when and where your end users need it. Looker's modern architecture is built around being 100% in database, meaning Looker is going to sit directly on top of your BigQuery database, giving you access to near real-time data rather than extracting or cubing that data into aggregates. Then there's Looker's semantic modeling layer. This is where your analysts will be able to define your standard business logic across your entire organization with robust data permissions, all within a Git integrated IDE with version control. And finally, Looker is web-based and cloud-native. Its full RESTful API will allow your analysts to integrate it into existing workflows or create custom data experiences on top of it. Now, data experiences can represent any number of ways in which companies drive value from data. For example, this can be using Looker's world-class BI experience, which puts trusted actionable insights into the hands of decision makers and helps cultivate a data culture throughout your organization. Or it can be through integrated insights, which infuse relevant information into the tools and products you already use, enhancing the experience of those tools and making you more effective. Another way is through data-driven workflows, which will supercharge your operational workflows with complete near real-time data, and this will also save you time and money by putting your data to work in every part of your business. And finally, custom applications. You'll be able to leverage Looker for custom-built tools to deliver data and experiences tailored to the job, build the exact experience people need, making them more effective and more efficient. In today's Looker demo, we're going to start on a dashboard, and we're going to see how your users can interact with your data. Then we'll go to the Explore page and see how your end users, technical or not, will be able to make ad hoc queries for themselves. And then we'll finish up in the modeling layer. And you can see how your analysts can define your core business logic and KPIs, all within one version controlled environment. Now we're going to log into this group overview dashboard as a retail manager for a fictional retail store called Fashionista. This dashboard is a collection of reports or tiles, we call them. And you can think of each one of them as a standalone SQL query against your underlying BigQuery database. Now, as we scroll down, we'll start seeing some more in-depth analysis with metrics that were defined by your analysts within that core modeling layer so that these metrics are going to be consistent and reusable by all end users across the Looker platform. But we'll also be able to see how we can integrate directly with machine learning tools available in BigQuery. So we'll be able to leverage this functionality like defining target customer segments here and visualize them directly on this dashboard. So these customer segments were actually defined with that BigQuery machine learning model rather than in the underlying data. And we can see exactly how we're doing with each of these segments. So it looks like we're performing very well with those emerging millennials while not performing so great with those one-off locals. We might want to drill into those one-off locals to see why we're not performing so well. Since Looker is sitting on top of your BigQuery database, we can always see what lies beneath any of these aggregate values and get down to the most granular row level of detail. Now, not only are we going to be able to drill into this data, we can also take action upon this data. So for example, this retail manager might want to figure out why some stores are not doing so great. What we can do is actually delegate some of this ta these tasks out. We can actually send a text message through Looker's Action Hub via Twilio out to that Philadelphia store manager, asking him to look into his poor performance. Or for this demo, we've actually spun up an app via Google's Cloud App Engine, and we're going to send out a store-specific dashboard to that Philadelphia manager to figure out why his performance isn't doing so hot in the past seven days. Now, after we've done that, this retail store manager might want to keep tabs on that store's performance. So what we can do is actually set up an alert on this tile right here for the Philadelphia store specifically, and set it up so that once the threshold of sales change is greater than 0%, alert me, so that I can then know when that store's performance has turned around. Or what we might want to do is actually just drill into the details ourselves. So right here, what we've done is actually linked out to a Philadelphia specific dashboard, where what we've done is dynamically pass that Philadelphia store name as a filter on top of this new store deep dive dashboard. So we can continue learning about it right here within Looker. Without going into the details of every tile, I do want to call to attention a few ways Looker is able to put the power of advanced Google Cloud technologies in the hands of everyday users. One example is here our store manager is able to have greater context around the dip in the store's performance by looking at the sales data next to local weather data. This weather data has come from BigQuery's public weather data set and we have seamlessly mapped that to our store locations in the underlying LookML model. As we scroll down, next we see another integration with our BigQuery machine learning model. This model here forecasts the optimal inventory levels of high selling items. 
And finally, I want to bring attention to the images in our chart here. These are being pulled in with a cloud function using Google's search API while we wait for our DBA to insert our own product images into our database. While likely you want to curate and pre-make regular reporting directly on these dashboards, there's always going to be follow-up questions or questions that haven't been asked before. Your analysts can find answers to those questions directly in the Explore environment right here. So what we can do is go into this Transaction Detail Explorer and start making ad hoc queries and reports for ourselves. This Explore environment is going to be based on this field picker on the left hand side. Each of these drop down menus are going to be representative of a table or one that's derived from your underlying BigQuery database. So as we grab one of the measures, total sales, we'll be able to see what Looker is doing for our end users on the back end. Looker is generating this SQL for them on the fly, so they don't need to know how to write SQL at all. And within that SQL definition, you can see the definition of this core metric as the sum of the sales price from the line items table. Now that's going to be consistent if it's used here or anywhere else within the Looker platform because that's how it was defined in the modeling layer. So let's continue building this report. We'll grab a date field. Looker is going to generate that SQL again for us with those time zone conversions. Maybe we want to look at those customer segments that we were previously looking at on the dashboard. Let's pivot on that. Then let's filter on something. Let's look at that poor performing store, that Philadelphia store. So we'll grab that in the filters, filter that to Philadelphia. We'll run this report. We have our results. Now we can start choosing different types of visualizations. Maybe we want to have a column chart. Let's stack this so it's a little bit more viewable. And then we can choose a different color. With this report, we can start seeing some new insights. Looks like actually at the beginning of the month, we were performing very well with those one-off locals and that kind of tapered off and we started performing better with those emerging millennials. So we might want the store manager to look into this and maybe we can create a campaign to target those one-off locals and pull them back into the store. So since Looker's web-based, I can share this URL with that Philadelphia store manager and they'd be able to open up this exact same report we're looking at. I could then also save it to that dashboard we were previously looking at or I can save this to be scheduled to be sent out on a daily or weekly basis. We can send this out via email, or we can use any of these other action buttons to push data out to other applications. For example, we can push this data out to Google Sheets, where the store manager would be able to log in and view it directly from their drive on their Google Sheet, or we can send this in different types of cadences, daily, weekly, monthly, or even by the minute. Now that we've seen how we can interact with your data on dashboards and the Explore page, Let's take a look underneath the hood at the modeling layer. Now, as I said before, that modeling layer is a semantic layer where your business analysts will be able to define your core KPIs and business logic all within one version controlled environment. Look at Mel Foster's a don't repeat yourself style, meaning you can define SQL expressions once and Looker uses that code repeatedly to generate the SQL queries on the fly. Now, if we need to make a change to this model, maybe update a metric, we can go into our development mode to make those changes. As we go into our development mode, we're going into our own personal Git branch, so we can test these changes out in our own sandbox environment and see how they look before we roll them out for everyone else to see. Now let's imagine that the government put a huge sales tax on all retail stores. So we have to take account for this sales tax. Say it's an absurd 40% tax. So we can multiply our sales price by 0 0.60. We'll save that. And we navigate back to the report we just built refresh this report and we'll automatically see this reflected right here in the data. We can then go in the SQL query and see it taken account for right there. This really shows how that modeling layer is defining this core logic within one central location. You'll no longer need to go from workbook to workbook or SQL query to SQL query to update changes across the board. You make a change in one place and that's going to be reflected everywhere throughout the Looker platform. This semantic modeling layer truly is that backbone of the Looker application. This alongside being 100% in database and completely web-based will be how you'll be able to create these unique data experiences for all your end users. Thanks for watching our demo. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Looker, but there's a lot more we'd love to show you. We'd be delighted to set you up with a more in-depth demo or get you started on a free trial with your own data.